what is up you beautiful people and welcome back to the great war brawl so um i'm playing some phoenix today we're gonna go straight to tier two and we're gonna drop a talus and we're gonna send out a conservator i believe because conservator is going to be really helpful for our team and uh i believe we're playing here with uh bob's guns and lie to me is that is that no no it's not no no no. we this is not yet that game uh we, but we do have um two characters on our team so um, the reason why I'm saying this is not yet that game is because the audio actually got cut off um, because I turned my mic on. Somewhere in the middle of this video, I'm going to start talking again, but like IRL in real time sort of thing. So yeah, we're against the Nova, Alarak, and a Manx, uh, and we're just going to go for some disruptors and uh, basically go pop, pop, pop on them uh, with those big orbs of death. For all modifiers, we have stockpile times three, as you guys can see, which starts us off with well, a lot of money. <clears throat> Bob's guns are sending us, sending us an invite, and this is the part where I'm like, okay, Bob, we're, we're we like, I think I think Bob's like uh said like he was gonna like they were they were in a game, and it was gonna take some time, and then I was like, all right, I'm gonna start a game, and then literally one minute later, they're like, uh, the game's over, and I'm like, bro, I just started. Uh, so yeah, that's <laughs> that's what all that was about. Uh, and then yeah, so raw modifiers we have synergy as well, so we're all spying at the same time, so that's what's happening. And here I'm just like sending a little reply. So we're gonna probably, I think uh, the next few games we're just gonna be playing with them, uh, back to back to back. So yeah. Anyways, my first disruptor coming out here. Gonna drop a little, little bean blast here. I think I'm gonna try and micro him. Uh, but uh, spoiler alert, my micro on the disruptors is actually horrendous. So after like a few tries, I just let the AI take over. Uh, I think the only time you should, you could really micro the disruptor is like um, when the enemy units tend to like jump or run or charge in real fast, like if there's an ultralisk. Then you should micro it, or at least you should like pseudo micro, where it's like you disable it on the menu, and then like once the units have used their mobility abilities, then uh, yeah, you uh, you unmicro. See, I tried to hit both of those tanks there, but it only hit one of the tanks. I'm just like, huh? Yeah, so that's one of the reasons why I'm just like, all right. Eventually, I stopped microing it. So, anyways, um, <clears throat> we got a bunch of energizers here, doing some tickle beams, increasing our attack speed. Uh, I hit Nova there, but I think that was a bad hit actually because Nova's just going to regenerate health, so it probably should have went for the the boys there. But anyways, I think um, this push gets pretty gets pretty spicy here. Uh, Red Carax is building Pure Sentinels, which is not too bad of an option, and then Blue Carax here is building a bunch of Annihilators, which is a really good that's a really good complement actually uh, with each other. Um, and there are some void race. I don't think I'm gonna try and get any air units this like 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 I'm gonna I think like Phoenix this week honestly you just gotta build disruptors and um, <clears throat> You can uh, push your way through stuff. So yeah, I think I'm gonna attempt to save for Phoenix right now I think is that's that's what's happening Phoenix costs like five million dollars. So, you know, there's there's that there's that there's that so that's why uh, um, That's why that's happening There we go. Oh, okay, and then yeah um Yeah. <laughs> so here I'm telling all my teammates that I'm gonna clear the ground. Uh, Phoenix's disruptors are just like I think they're in in my opinion. If you're not if you're not microing them, they might just be slightly better ravagers actually, uh, because they do more damage and their AOE is bigger. So um, I mean the cooldown's a lot longer, and they don't hit air units. So actually maybe it's not slightly better ravager. It's like it's like <sighs> ravager is, is is good in its own way. And the disruptor is good in its own way. I guess that's it. If disruptors could hit air units, oh, that would be so good. I use my big over, overcharge blast here. I think I, I over blasted there, but that's okay. No, that's all right. Um, let's grab some more disruptors. Disruptors also cost exactly 420 minerals, uh, which is brilliant. Um, very, very excellent mineral count right there. Um, and yeah, so annihilators. Yeah, so this is the part where I give up and I just let my disruptors do their own thing. Uh, they actually kind of missed there because Alarak charged for. I think I'm gonna go tier three so I can get like a upgrade on this on the disruptor so like they can get like a purification nova like aftershock effect. Um, I think it's definitely worth getting that if you are gonna go disruptors here. So uh, I still am only on one gas though because I think we're just desperately trying to hang on. I think you might it might be worth skipping Phoenix honestly to just like go pure disruptors. Um, disruptors basically just sh stop your opponents from building any ground units that don't have more than like 500 HP uh, and even then like even then I don't think that's gonna be good enough um, void race here destroyers are definitely gonna be a little bit of a problem um, but hopefully my ally Karax can get some mirages and take care of it because mirages are actually a pretty powerful uh, and elite unit you know um, so 
Like, they're good against destroyers, because destroyers don't really do any bonus damage against it, so yeah. Yeah. Uh, bam, bam, bam. Alright, Karak's beam coming down here. Just gonna smash it up. There we go. Um, yeah, I mean, we just got our gas. And we're just gonna push right through here. Oh, that bunker is gonna get beamed. And I think I'm gonna drop a little big blast here. I'm trying to like micro like the explosion just to hit the uh, hit the uh, what you call the destroyers up top. But uh, the thing only does 100 damage. The destroyers are just gonna be laughing. Like, I'll pop the destroyer shield and then like that's about it. It's all I'm gonna be able to get uh, done. So I mean, you know, better than nothing. I mean, I think if it did if it did 125 damage exactly, it would actually like be broken against Mutalisk. You would just one shot the Mutalisk like completely, um, which would actually make Phoenix Air uh, ridiculously good against swarms. I think Phoenix Air is a bit lacking against swarms right now, as it seems. Um, like like Mojo does good, but yeah, I'm gonna add some more purifiers here. I mean, more disruptors, purifiers. Yeah, purifier disruptor. Oh my god, a bug just landed on my phone. How could you do this, boys? I can't believe it's done this. Um. <laughs> Anyways, um, oh, big detonation here, and Warhounds been coming in here, Siege Tank sieging up here, Tanks are actually a prime target for the Disruptors, uh, because they don't move, Nova's defensive drone, trying to come down here and save it, but it's not going to be enough, just going to smash our way through here, I think, I think here's where, like, I've hit peak Disruptors now, and, it's just gonna feel real good as I just barrel through our opponent's wave with them. The suppers are kind of like banelings that keep on giving, you know? It's the gift that keeps on giving. Boom, boom. Except those those ones just totally missed. Um, don't worry about those ones, guys. Uh, Y'all didn't see anything. Um, hey, I finally hit tier 3 there. There we go. And then I got my Disruptor Aftershock. That's gonna increase our damage output by so much. Uh, and Disruptors are great against the, the great, great against structures, because structures don't, they don't move. Trying to like snipe the cannon here with like a little big blast here. Trying to blast that Wrathwalker, but Phoenix went down a little bit too quickly. I think in this game I actually attempt to uh, turn into an Arbiter mode. And I think uh, in-game Wujus is about to take over um, the commentary very soon. Very soon. Because I think it's around like 8 minutes in this game where I'm like, Hey, I should, I should check if uh, I'm recording. And then when I go and check, I'm like, My mic is off in OBS. And I'm like, why though? Uh, and, um, yeah, boys, present Wujus, I mean, present game Wujus is probably going to take over, so I will sign off now.
Oh my god, boys. What is up? The mic was muted this entire time. I guess I'm gonna have to, uh... I'm gonna have to voice over the first section here, so I'll probably, like... You probably already know that it's been muted this entire time. But anyways, as I was saying, um... I was like, uh, I was like, man, I should check that the video is actually recording. You know, good thing I discovered this halfway through the video instead of after the whole game. So the Shuffers have been doing a pretty decent job here, at least. I was going to get some Arbiter action, I think, but I've just been trying to micro Phoenix here. So I'm like, like, you know, um, at the beginning, I was also trying to micro the Disruptors, but I, like, I totally like screwed it up terribly. Like I just beamed myself. Uh, but I was saying like the, the Disruptors are actually dealing damage to the Nexus by like just dropping all their hits over there. So I guess it's not all that bad that that's what's happening. Um, but yeah, I got some Sky Furies over here. I'm really concerned just going to... I think I'm just going to go into Arbiter mode here. I'm going to go to Arbiter, I'm gonna go to Arbiter, Arbiter mode. And then uh, we're going to end this, boys. I got the Observation Protocol here. Arbiter mode is going to be real powerful. Actually, we don't even need Arbiter mode. Boom. They're trying to protect the Nexus, but that's it, boys. Well, it was only, it was only 11 minutes, but I was, gonna, I was saying like how this was like... A, Probably like a really optimal Phoenix composition to just dominate the ground. Like you're so good with all the support things. Talus with her bounce just makes things so much more vulnerable. And then like the shield here just protecting our units. And uh, yeah, I mean, I don't think I did the most damage though. And nope, that's a total lie. I did I, I did a lot of damage. Uh, so yeah, because like you literally can't miss this week uh, with Phoenix. So yeah. Anyways, uh, let's go join Bob's Guns and everybody else. Let's go. Alright, we are back. Let's rock it, boys. I'm gonna drop that Phoenix once again. Let him know, boys. I'm just gonna buy Talus right away. Oh, we got Abathur. Man, this is... Is this like the dream composition? Actually, Vorzun got that big suck. So you can just pull everyone into the center. Um, so that could actually be really good. Um, so anyways, I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna run the same thing as we did for the opener last time. So we got that nice support. Abathur can, uh, actually Abathur's Vipers are kind of counter synergy, but I don't know. So Vorzun can stack hella hard. I'm gonna get like our protective field here with our Conservators. I might need to buy more Conservators. Uh, how much are they? Oh god, they cost so much though. They're so expensive. Um, there we go. Our protective field here should just reduce our damage on one side. So it looks like there's a Marauder Commando, there's a Ravasaur, and there's some Mangsk boys. Uh, which should all be easily handled, boys. All will be, all will be destroyed. Uh, same one with the YouTube videos. Yes, sir. How's it going? Oh yeah, we're we're, we're joined here by uh, Bob's Guns and War Dodgers. Sorry, didn't even mention that, but I guess like they got pinged. They pinged it here, anyways. Um, but yeah, it's been like five millennium since I've played with War Dodger. I feel I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, I love you guys. It's gonna be it's going great trying to learn the new brawl. A let's see, Haas is playing some Dahaka. Dahaka could potentially just be a little too thick, but we can always swap into Immortal Adept if we need to do it. Hey, thanks for the love, man. Thanks for the love. Really appreciate it. Boom. There we go, we'll put that down here. There we go. Gotta get the optimized emitters here. I'm gonna I'm gonna grab a Phoenix. Come on, Phoenix. Put him in Dragoon form. He's here somewhere. It's okay. Oh, we'll make it work. And then uh, this match going on YouTube. You bet. You bet. <laughs> All right, boys. We're gonna overload this, and then we're just gonna yeet it down. Okay. Arsenal overcharge. It's got like a six or seven minute cooldown or something like that. So, oh man, I'm not close enough though. Ooh, there we go. We just shot four blast. Everybody gets a little bit, and then the tankiest boys in the center. We'll uh, we'll just have to deal with them, you know, a little bit late, a little bit sooner. There we go. We got that disruptor there. Yeah, Phoenix is great fire support in his uh, dragoon suit. And you can see here, like the like the warzone units not dying. Like the stalkers are really helpful, just being good value. Um, I know what Bob's is going for. Bob's got some ravagers. Okay, he's got some ravagers. Maybe I should do something other than ravagers. You know. Uh, there we go. Hi, Lacey. A hey. my boy Hast here shouting out to Lacey. How's it going? I, I don't I don't know, but yeah, anyways. Uh, we're just gonna push it down here. Um, is that is that in the hitbox? I know that's in the hitbox. That's for sure. I don't think it's actually worth blasting down structures because they respawn so quickly. Uh, oh, it's my first uh, it's my first disruptor time, boys. Let's go. I live on. Boom! There's so many Marauders here. Oh, there's a Shock Division. Well, that's good. Shock Divisions get countered by uh, 
Good old Vipers. Vipers are so good for that. Uh, that's my favorite part about Abathur. Like, someone builds siege tanks, Abathur's just like, uh, no. No. <laughs> I'm gonna have to say no to that one. Uh, <laughs> I almost, I'm also, I'm almost tempted to switch from uh, the dragoon suit to the praetor suit. Oh, there it is, because the praetor suit is potentially very powerful, uh, especially with all these ravasaurs. I can just dive in there and turn on the spin. The spin does 70 damage per second, so a ravasaur dies in like one second and a little bit more. So like potentially big value there. Um, anyway, so let's put down some more of these bad boys here. I think if the Haka does the silencing scream, I can actually just not be able to uh, use my stuff here. But you see, Nova has all these Marauders. That is going to make her so vulnerable to just getting pushed down by Disruptors. Unfortunately, Disruptors being the weird balls that they are, um, are going to get stuck on like literally everything. Because I think they have the same attack range as Stalkers or something like that. No, they got 7 range. Wait, then how are they getting stuck? Okay, I don't know. Anyways, um, got some LMG boys coming in here. Oh, I got silenced. I got silenced, boys. It's over. All right, well, we're going to switch into, uh, I don't know, something else. Maybe, I don't know. You can see here. Oh, man. The Centurion's running into stun. Is this, like, the most broken comp ever? Could this be it? I feel like it could be. I feel like this or, like, uh, Karax could do a decent job replacing Vorazun as well. Although... Maybe Karax might not be as well as as, do, as good of a job because Karax does. At the end of the day, like his his units sort of just charge in there, so he does like die a bit faster. Forzun stalkers just chill out in the back and like you know they keep coming back. Oh, mince meat to those marauders there. Boom. Yeah, Phoenix here just getting bopped. There we go. Give me another one of these. Okay, now I'm gonna go tier three. We're gonna get the purification echo because uh, I do have four of these things. So we're gonna get that consciousness awakened here. Uh, and I only really need one Talus, I think. Ah, there's an Ultralisk. I think we can handle an Ultralisk or two with our super affordable Immortals for 337. Even cheaper than my Disruptors. Um, we got Ravagers. We got Disruptors. I feel like it's a bit of overkill, actually. But maybe I can get my Taldarn to just pull everything in together. That could actually be a really good combo. Just get Taldarn to pull units in, and then Disruptors just lands a fatty, fatty hit on them. Maybe that's what I gotta do, you know? Boom. Boom, we're breaching the we're breaching the mantle. The next explosion is breaching the mantle. What is this, Terry? Oh, I can't believe I'm reading this. <laughs> is Donnie Vermillion from CNN? Uh sorry, I I, I literally just played uh the co-op mission where you have to like rescue the xenon crystals. I just love how Donnie Vermillion is just like a super farcical uh, character, or like a satirical character on uh, just news media in general. <laughs> oh man. There we go. Uh, is my overcharge ready? Uh, not quite. Oh well. Oh, got that black hole! Oh wait, everything died in there! I was gonna do the big blast on it! Okay, whatever, it's done. Everything in there died. Man, that black hole is... Sheesh! That's that grapefruit technique, boys, that they've been talking about. Uh, gotta watch out for it. I'm gonna drop that big blast over there. Oh my god, Disruptors are just gonna knock that base out. Sheesh. Because a lot of our wave is pretty invisible, too. Because like the Disruptors are just chilling here. Boom. I'm gonna blast those guys here. Arsenal overcharge. Still not even... Not even... Like, there's still like three and a half more minutes. Man, that thing has like an eight minute cooldown. It's actually crazy. What the heck? Boys, what does Phoenix ever do to give this an 8 minute cooldown? But then I guess, like, if there is not a long cooldown, it literally comes off cooldown literally too fast, and it's like just a better Karax beam. It's 100 damage, you know? 100 damage is 100 damage. Times 4? That's quite a lot, boys. Boom. Only the only the thickest uh, Ravasaurs survived, boys. Oh my god, so the other day I went to the grocery store, and uh, I was just buying some apples, and dude, they came out with Sigma male apples, boys. They're called Spartan Apples. Um, <laughs> thought I just dropped that in there. I was like, I was looking at the grocery store. I was like, what the heck? They got Spartan Apples? Uh, so yeah, so I bought those because, you know, you need them for your Sigma male grind set, right? So yeah. Oh my god. Oh, Phoenix is beautiful this week. Sheesh. I think if I got like, oh my god, look at that Mineral Valley kill. Oh my god. Yeah, Phoenix can definitely control the ground here. You just need Talus here to help you out. So like Talus makes your enemies vulnerable. 
You could probably get one or two more conservators, you know, as needed to like if the wave expands. War Dodger's units here just probably taking a lot of damage, right? Yeah, taking a lot of damage here. And then we got the Ravager artillery. The disruptors seem to have been more powerful than the Ravagers actually, uh, but you can't you can't buy as many of them. So I mean, yeah, I guess it was very effective because our opponents built a lot of small clumpers like like the Nova units here. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed these two Phoenix games, be sure to leave a like. If you guys have not had a chance to try Phoenix out for for yourself, definitely go do it. Until next time. I will see you guys later. The tires, let's light some fires. You need a light. They picked the wrong place.